It's Monday, January 29th, and in my search for stories, I often come across tales that are amazing. Some of them are humorous, some of them are ugly, some of them are beyond comprehension, but I try to find something that's extremely interesting, or at least they're interesting to me. And this morning I found a story that is, I guess, sort of a reflection on the way humans behave. And in many cases, the way humans behave is not the way you would expect them to behave. But this is a story about a piece of artwork that has been around for centuries centuries and is in the museum at the Louvre. Now, the Louvre is a museum in Paris. I'm sure most of you know that. And it was built in the 12th or 13th century under the King Philip II. And there remained a palace for French kings for many, many years. And in 1546, it was created as the permanent residence for French kings. Now, the building had been extended many, many times, and then it reverted itself to what was called the Louvre Palace. And in 1682, Louis XIV chose the Palace of Versailles for his household, and he left the Louvre primarily as a place to display the royal collections. And so that's probably where the history of the Louvre as a museum started. And during the French Revolution, the National Assembly decreed that the Louvre should be a museum to display the nation's masterpieces. And it's continued to do that until the present day. And I want to talk to you about one of the world's great painters that resides at the Louvre. And it's a wonderful painting. It's historical. Everybody knows what this painting is. And the name of this painting is the Mona Lisa. And I'm talking about the Mona Lisa because a very unusual thing happened there at the museum, or at least I thought it was a very unusual thing. But what I'm about to tell you is something that is very strange and stupid, and it just shows you the thinking processes that go on in the human mind, which are not very good all the time. So we have a situation at the Louvre. Protesters hurled soup at the Mona Lisa painting last Sunday, but it was protected from damage by its glass casing. Now the soup was hurled by a group called the Repost Elementra, and that roughly translates into the food response. Now this is a group that comes from people from all walks of life and vocations whose common mission is ending hunger among our nation's children. And it's a worldwide organization, so every nation has children who are probably on the verge of starvation or need help getting food. And so these people who threw the soup at the Mona Lisa are members of that group. Now, two protesters within this group and their campaign were behind the vandalists. Of course, they closed up that room for a while, and it's now reopened that room called the Salle des Tats, which houses the Mona Lisa. Now, in my wildest imagination, I can't conceive of how hurling soup at a valuable painting like the Mona Lisa, a world-renowned 
It's going to get you, anybody, to agree with the cause that you are fighting. If Sterling Soup and a masterpiece is your way of bringing attention to your cause, you are stupid and your group exists of many, many ignorant people. But what this really brought to the surface is the danger that the Mona Lisa has been in for a long, long time. Fainting is no stranger to vandalism and thievery. It was stolen in 1911 by an employee of the museum, and that theft raised its international profile. And the bottom of the canvas suffered an attack, an acid attack, in the 1950s. And that led the museum to beef up the protective measures surrounding the work, the work of art, including a bulletproof glass. Now, I can't imagine that this museum piece, this masterpiece, was unprotected until the 1950s because there are a lot of wackos in the world. But I guess you trust people. You run in the museum business, you trust people. But that's not the case. And so the Mona Lisa has been, tra- been protected since the 1950s. And then in 2009, a woman angrily threw a ceramic cup at the painting, breaking the cup, and but he left the painting on because it had that protective glass. And in 2022, a visitor smid thrusting all over the Renaissance painting's protective glass. Is that not a form of insanity? Is that not somebody who wants to bring themselves attention to go and paint over the glass of the Mona Lisa in the room and expect to get away with it? I don't believe these people want to get away with it. They're attention-getting devices. They want people to look at them and say, see what I did. I painted over the Mona Lisa. Are they crazy? This work of art worth millions of dollars. An old painting. Not a new masterpiece, an old painting. And it represents part of our great life cycle. Paintings are wonderful. And they achieve something. A view of the world. A view of people that many don't comprehend. But many appreciate. The Mona Lisa is the painting, a portrait of a woman. Yet it's a masterpiece. And it should be treated with great respect. should not be under attack. It's a shanda that we have people out there that would attack paintings and things like that for a cause. It would be better to stand outside such a, a wonderful, idyllic masterpiece and state your case without attempting to destroy it. So the human mind is not very smart in my way of thinking. So I leave you alone with that. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.